Hey, hello YouTube. Um, I wanted to put together a quick video that shows you how to download and install the Google Chrome browser. Steps are pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to open up your Edge browser. So you want to click on your, your little E. Um, when the browser pops up, the next thing you want to do is in your search bar, you want to search for Chrome. and hit enter. Uh, in your search results, if you get something that tells you that Microsoft Edge is recommended, you can ignore that. Obviously, Microsoft wants you to keep their browser, so it looks like they're promoting their own browser. Click on the link from Google, the one that says Google Chrome Download. Now, on the next screen, you're going to get something that looks similar to this that says Download Google Chrome in the middle of the page. You want to click on the download Google Chrome and you're going to get a pop up that asks you to accept their terms of service. Here's an option where they're asking you to send information back to Google. I have no interest in sending it back to them, so I'm going to uncheck that. You can choose to either leave it or uncheck that. Click on accept and install. Now here at the bottom, you're getting an option now, which says you could either choose to save this locally or run it. In our case, I'm just going to choose to run it. Once you're going to get a pop-up that asks you whether or not to move forward, it's basically going to tell you, in this case, you want to make sure, obviously, that the publisher is Google, that you're not, you didn't accidentally download something unscrupulous. Um, here you want to choose yes. And it will start the the download and install for you the difference between choosing run and choosing save is if you save it after you're done then you have to go into the executable and run it running it is doing it's basically doing both processes for you it's downloading it um, downloading a temporary file for you and then it's going to automatically start the install process the download itself should be pretty quick And then you should see it should start the install. After it finishes the install, you're going to see it's actually going to put a shortcut on your desktop, and then you'll have um, you'll have easy access to the Chrome browser. It looks like it's just about done. There you go. So now it's opened up my Chrome browser for me. I'm going to close this. I'm also going to close my Microsoft Edge browser. Now you see you have a Google Chrome icon here that you can launch your Chrome browser. So it's basically that simple. If you get an option that says set as default, you can choose to make Chrome your default browser, which means that web pages, any HTML pages will automatically open up in Chrome. That's really up to you, but the process is that simple. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and, sub and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.